All right, welcome back right, into another time? Down yeah. South video. We are at the Pickleball Kingdom once again with Matt and Chris on the opposite side of the net as I and Mr. Ben. Ben and I just met this day, a very solid player. I think he's well within the four or five range. Uh, so he is pretty much gonna backpack my lousy self through this particular game. Yeah, we're gonna have some great points for y'all. So um, we have some high topics in store. We're gonna talk a little bit about the PPA Mesa stop that's going on right now as well as the pba jw desert ridge i guess carvana i think sponsored both of these events so we'll get into that a little bit later uh, but for now we're just going to kind of get into some of these points with a huge mess by carson uh on that little come in approach chris was eating me up i'm gonna go on foreshadow a little bit that's not the only time that chris does that pop up Good stuff by Chris. Just got to take advantage of it. Um, that doesn't happen too much more, but uh, you can't be popping the ball up against Matt and Chris. They're too good. Solid dinking by Ben. Good defense by Chris. Let's go. Dad gum. All right. Yeah. Solid point. I can't get mad at myself. That was just a really good. I got to get that ball lower to the ground on that ATP and put it a little bit farther back, a little bit out of Chris's range, but he was able to bit, to lower. defend that ATP really well. And that's also something that the pros are doing. The ATPs aren't as flashy anymore because the defense has just gotten that good. So uh, really good defense there by Chris on that one. Yeah, off the cover. I honestly just need to let, nice that pop this is our first time playing together. I should have just Once let Ben play the left the entire time. Nice little drop by Ben. And then I just can't, it's that middle ground. So um, talking about a goal real quick of mine, at the beginning of the year, I had no duper. First tournament was early on. I had like a 4.1 duper. And then I played in a few tournaments since then and I've won, but they've only been 4.0, 19 plus tournaments. And I've won both of them, which is not a huge deal, but has brought my duper up to 4.5 um, because the people that I play against, obviously, it, plays into your ranking and whatnot um, so uh, this has been really good I think Chris and Matt have helped me tremendously reach that goal and uh, you know get to where I'm at so a goal of mine for this year win a 4-5 tournament that's it like that's that's the goal for 2023 so I would love to see y'all tag along in this process with me getting that done and if you know not if but when it happens um, it's gonna be a big accomplishment for me uh, in the pickleball you know side of things and in like my journey so um goal for 2024 i will foreshadow a little bit there too is to win or to at least compete really really hard or medal in a 5-0 tournament so long ways to go for that one so uh we're gonna have many many lessons in between now and then uh, but for now i feel like we're on the right track because this first quarter of pickleball from you know january to february I've improved dramatically, and it's due to playing with better players, getting lessons from people like James Ignall, which uh, if you haven't checked out that lesson, that's a very beneficial backhanded dink lesson, uh, which you can you know, easily upgrade your game from like 4.0 to 4.5 in my opinion. Learn how to put some more power on your dinks, and then body placement uh, with, you know, at the net, where to put uh, it against your opponent and whatnot. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at. So the 2023 goal is looking really good right now. Uh, we're going to keep at it. Uh, but these guys here, I can honestly say, are probably all at 4-5, if not higher. Uh, so this is great play for me. Um, and that's kind of why Ben's carrying me through this particular uh, this particular game. So thanks once again to him. And I must have said sorry like 20 times. So, uh, so yeah. But uh, love, uh, love coming out to the kingdom. No weather effects indoors, of course. But uh, let's see what this point looks like. Mad into the net. Not too common. Little high on drop. And then that's not a power shot. I kind of stroked that. That's not what you want to do there. You want to put that on. You want to put that on his backhand, because that was my forehand. He's expecting me to put it back on his backhand, I believe. I might have said that wrong, but uh yeah, not the right shot regardless. So getting into a little dink battle here. 
that's a really solid thing from Ben. He has a nice little backhand. It's pretty much just using your shoulders and rotating and getting that ball back low. It's almost like scooping it. But it's not scooping it, of course, because that's illegal. No! Not a good dink. Kind of got jammed up there. Um, that's, my, that's my fault. But yeah. A little deep, a little deep. That was deep. Side out. Um, getting into a little Three, bit of the PPA one. talk, we played at the JW, my, my doubles okay. partner and I, John, which I interviewed him afterwards, and we have some good content there I'll have to share on our shorts. Chris, I swear on my life, I'm going to hit one of those coming in. <laughs> talking about being in no man's land, that's my what bad, I'm ben. talking about there. Um, but we, like I mentioned earlier, won, uh, took the gold medal, but it was a battle. We actually didn't drop a game up until the championship match, and we had some solid players against us that play over at uh, one of the public parks that we frequent. And uh, my partner John had played against him, but we it is. Four, were just kind of like four, three, two, mentally yeah. I was not in it, and our, my partner was able to kind of pull me up and uh, you know motivate me, and it was a positive reinforcement in my ear. So um, I go back and I play that tournament again. Solid nice. ATP Good by Ben. There. Let's go. I like the paddle switch. That's what we need to Wow. Do. Yeah. <laughs> Good put away there for him. So, a couple ATPs, but uh, Ben's the only one who's able to put it away. Um, and I think he has a paddle switch, too. Now, Good now it's 6 3, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Solid, solid stuff there by Ben. Good, um, Good choke right there. But down we're the line. Able, we dropped a game, the very first game in our gold right. medal match at JW. I gotta clean it up for and us, then man. ended up yeah. pickling them the second game, so 11 0. And then the third game, we were a little bit closer, it was like 11 7. But. Um, you kind of figure people out and then you're able to adjust and game plan for it. And I think we did that really well. Um, talking about the overall event, it was a very, very packed event. The venue, I think, was a little too small for what it had pretty much to offer. So Six, three, two. Uh, there was over 1,100 players, I think, in the JW one, and there was only 30-something courts. So over a four-day span, that's a lot of pickleball play. And uh, a lot of the matches that we played did not have refs which that's just a ref shortage. There's, it's almost impossible to have a fully staffed Got off that nasty referee, number. you know, team Six, three, for the two, full tournament. Seven, so uh, not a big deal seven, there, three, but something that didn't make sense is, you know, we paid 130 bucks to come and play, and then we had to pay extra to get into the championship court to, uh, seats. And that one didn't make a lot of sense in my head. Um, but the also the grandstand courts, there was four of them, they didn't have the seats available. You were pretty much um, not allowed access besides looking through the wind breakers on the fence, which are like impossible to see through. Uh, so that really wasn't too enjoyable uh, from that aspect, from a viewing aspect. And then uh, one other thing about the PPA uh, JW Desert Ridge was there was a text malfunction in uh, uh, like midway through the day. So there was some four or five players who didn't get a text to come to their court. And then the referees were out there standing and then they eventually said, you know, both teams forfeit, and then it wasn't their fault. So uh, I think that that was very kind of irresponsible to PPA. They've got to do better. If They have to do better for sure. If you are going to charge $130 for, you know, entry, you've got to give players the benefit of the doubt, especially when the texts aren't coming through. Um, so hopefully they clean their act I up there. I feel so awkward today. Yeah, I think so. A little drop coming in. Those are hard to sometimes keep down. I'm back. Good ben stop. takes over, solid point, puts it away. Way to take over. And uh, I'm talking about what's going on right now as I'm recording this is the PPA Mesa. It's, I think it's the Carvana, just PPA Mesa, wherever it is. It's down at Bellbank Park. We went yesterday, me and my buddy Howie, who was in the last golf video. Um, ah, back, back, really back. solid dude. He and I went, watched it for a couple hours, had some pizza, had some beers, do and there. Then watched the pros play, which is yeah, that was all been actually. Which will honestly, just improve your game, just watching them in person. It's so so Three consistent. Uh, it's not that they're that they're hitting the ball so much harder per se. It's more right that there. their hands are faster, Way to and do they can it. get those speed ups either reset or a re reset or you know one quicker than we can. And it was really fun to go and watch. Um, but I gotta say, I think yeah. my favorite event 
over the last 30 days here in Arizona, there's been three PPA slash MLP events, and the MLP event was definitely the most electric. It's just because it's it's kind of unpredictable. You're not Nine, seeing three, the same one. people win over and over again with that team format for the MLP. It's kind of like whoever's hot and whoever's like you know more vocal and you know more confident is going to pull out the win. So uh, if there's an MLP stop near y'all, highly recommend going to check that out for sure. If Chris gets that rip, my paddle's on the right side of my body. He would have put that on the you left side right right of my there. hip. That would have been a very hard shot to keep down for me. So that's just something else to notate while you're playing. If you can go cross body, so like maybe right here, they're expecting him to hit it to, to the backhand. But yes, stuff, um, you just want to make sure you're trying to switch it up on your opponent. So if you know they're expecting right, you go left on their body. I think I would have dropped by Ben, um, so that was the right play to take it out of the air. Chris Ten, just three, didn't uh, didn't pull that one off. But if you look in the back, it's 9.56, so I think we've been playing for a couple hours already at night. Um, so we started at 8, so wow. this is kind of like uh, there, end of Chris. day kind of points. Um, so sometimes, you know, you don't have as much energy after playing for a couple hours, but no excuses. Um, we have to lead 10-3 as of now. Ben with the right oh, idea, you saw how no Matt was way, leaning no in towards the middle. He had so much real estate going down that line. I don't know if him and Matt were supposed to switch, if Chris and Matt were supposed to switch, but they did not. And um, left that open for Ben, but unfortunately it just goes a little bit long. John. Good leaf by Ben. Ben was able to correctly you leave balls throughout this particular game. He didn't miss a single, you know, out ball like <laughs> If he thought it was out, it was definitely going out. So good, good judgment by him. That's such a low percentage shot. That was honestly one of my better shots of the mat or the game. Uh, put one in the back corner against Chris's backhand and was able to um, right here, right here. get a side out on it. But uh, very difficult low percentage shot throwing it that far back in that back corner. Would love to. If you made it this far in the video, would love to hear y'all's skill levels. Uh, you know, if you're a 3 5 4 0, 4 5, 5 0, whatever that looks like, just drop it in the comments. That would be very beneficial. We'd love to kind of see who is watching these videos and who we can benefit more. If, you know, if we have a lot of 4 or 5 players in here, uh, we'd love to do whenever I'm going out for lessons. Would love to attack more of like the 4 5 to 5 0 knowledge. Like, how can you improve? Uh, so, yeah, definitely go ahead and drop a comment below for that and uh, we'll get some more viewer oriented skill level oh, yeah, content in the mix here so we're very excited we have some great collaborations in the in the works uh eric howie he might be coming on as skylar and i's agent for um brand deals and potential a little bit of ownership in the youtube channel uh so we're we're definitely going to take this thing to the to the moon it's going to be big uh we're excited uh, just about going all in with this channel so you're going to see very consistent content it's going to keep on improving so um, things that we're doing now we might not be doing in the future um, that aren't necessarily working but we're going to do our very best to get better and better each particular video not just on the pickleball court but editing oh, and uh, you know wording of stuff and then commentation too so um, Thank you. yeah let's watch uh let's watch Good this run. next point here we're getting close to the end of this video so we'd love to see how this finishes out um, but really appreciate everybody for being here it means the world and um yeah let's let's see what's going on here not my best Darn it. I think he was going for another ATP right there, but uh, maybe didn't have enough enough length on it. Matt and Chris on a little bit of a run here. Let's see if they keep it up. Good deep return. 
and that map pays the price. So not able to drop that one in. That was the right decision to drop it in just because it's a speed up back there is essentially just like trying to reset the ball, but it, it didn't work out. Good leave. good leave by Ben as well. Like I mentioned earlier, he was really good about gauging those out balls and uh, performed really well here. Oh yeah, I got a good feeling about that point. Yes, good stuff. Well, all we have left, I guess now, we'll bid you adieu and we'll see you in next week's video. Talk to you then. Yeah.